it's just a risk sometimes that you have to take you have to bet on yourself you have to bet on yourself because guess what sometimes nobody else is gonna do it a lot of people aren't gonna like that a lot of people are gonna feel uncomfortable about it and a lot of people are gonna want to make you feel uncomfortable about it why do you need approval to do something that you love <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Marista, aka Respect Kitty. What's poppin'? What's good? How you doing? How you feeling? It's summer. Well, summer's almost over actually. It's August. You know, I hate when people say that. Like, we still have a good two months of it being hot here in Jersey, so whatever. On this channel, you're gonna find different things from fitness videos, stretch videos, talking about life, growth, living in your purpose, empowerment. It's really just a peek into my life and what I do on a daily basis, which is motivating people, pushing people to live their best and healthiest lives. So this topic has been on my mind for a couple of months. It's so crazy, I had a conversation with my girl Brittany. Shout out to Brittany, what's up girl? We were just talking about like sleeping on yourself. Like, why are we sleeping on ourselves? Like we have so much potential, we have so much talent, we have so much drive, we have so much passion inside of us. And I think at the end of the day, what it comes down to is your environment and the people that you're around, the people that you surround yourself with, the people that you spend time with, that you work with, right? So you could be someone that is extremely talented, multi-passionate you know like you have so many different talents like i meet so many different women that can do so many different things right like myself you know i am a dancer i teach dance classes i'm a choreographer i teach fitness classes i'm a personal trainer i would love to dj in the very near future that's something that i'm working on there's just so many things that I feel very passionate about and there's just so many different directions that I want to go in but at the end of the day they all tie into one another it all relates to music and health and joy and moving your body that's something that I've been on this journey to do for myself and to do for other people to just like find my purpose and to fully live in it we just deal with so many things right we deal with stress finances we deal with the news and what's going on and wars and all that stuff right and then on top of that we deal with our own self-doubt with not feeling like we're in a place to progress sometimes we feel stuck we feel like we're being held back i think one of the biggest reasons that we sleep on ourselves or we feel like we can't reach our full potential is because we don't feel like we're getting the support from people around us there might be feelings of doubt in your mind that you're not good enough that people aren't going to accept you for what you're doing that people are going to judge you for what you're doing i think there's just this fear right there's this fear of going full throttle with something that you're really passionate about it's a risk and i think especially when we're talking about creativity and we're talking about artistic work things of that nature there is a sense of fear what if what i'm doing is not good what if no one accepts it what if people don't support it what if people are not paying what if i cannot pay my bills based on what i love to do right so i think it's very important to get around people like talk to people who are in the same mindset as you who have the same visions who have the same goals who have the same wants and dreams in life that's the only way that you're going to be able to move forward you can be the strongest person in the world and you can be very self what's the word intrinsic you get like intrinsic motivation so it comes from within you could be that person but there's gonna be days where you just don't feel like you could show up. You don't feel like you could do it. You don't feel like things are working out in your favor, right? And those are the days where you really need to sit down and talk to someone. And I'm so grateful that I have a very small number of people, but I do have a handful of people where when I do start doubting myself or when I do feel like, you know, what I'm doing is not gonna work out, I have those people that keep it real with me and they give me that push that i need and we push each other so i'm very grateful for a certain number of people but specifically like this conversation that i had with my girl today 
it was really something that I needed. Another struggle that we might have is just showing up fully as yourself, even just on social media. There's this pressure on social media, and I, I feel like I talk about social media in every single video, but it, it's, it pertains to freaking everything because it's 2022, and unfortunately, if you are an entrepreneur or if you're creative, like you have to use social media. There's really no way around it, right? So there's this fear of like, I gotta look like everybody else on social media. I have to do what everybody else is doing on social media. This particular thing is gonna help me get viral because I saw so-and-so doing it and she got viral. She went viral, not she got viral, I'm old. She went viral, okay? So there's like this comparison thing. We start comparing ourselves to people and this is why like I really emphasize taking breaks from social media and using social media as solely a tool solely as a tool like if you're on social media just scrolling aimlessly and just on social media for hours just looking at other people's content to figure out ways to get yourself motivated or to get yourself out there it's not going to happen that motivation needs to come from yourself and it needs to come from people around you in your circle period there's also no one size fits all to a success, right? So we could essentially be doing the same thing. There's plenty of other girls who are out here doing fitness, doing training, doing dance classes, coming up with choreography for artists. There's so many other girls who are doing the same thing as me, but your approach has to reflect you as a person who you are. Your approach cannot be the same as freaking Becky or Jenny down the block, okay? because you're your own person at the end of the day. People are gonna be drawn to you for you, for who you are, for your personality. For instance, this channel is a reflection of me. Everything that I choose to talk about is a reflection of me. These are things that mean a lot to me, things that I talk about with my friends, things that I journal about, right? Things that I see important and things that I don't see a lot of people talking about. People are gonna be attracted to you. So if you're watching this right now and it's your first time on my channel, hopefully you subscribe please subscribe and you feel called to subscribe to my channel and you feel like what I'm saying is relatable and you feel like you needed to hear this today, that's because you're drawn to whatever I'm saying. It's my personality, right? It's who I am. It's my truth. It's my purpose. Whatever I'm speaking about, it is my purpose. There's also this big fear of being judged. Part of what I do is I teach heels classes. I teach women how to dance in heels. I teach women to grow confident, to love their bodies, to feel their bodies, to be comfortable in their sexuality and their feminine energy, right? A lot of people aren't gonna like that. A lot of people are gonna feel uncomfortable about it and a lot of people are gonna wanna make you feel uncomfortable about it. I have family members that they're not okay with what I do, right? But if I were to listen to everything that other people said or thought about me, I would never do what I love. I would just stop dancing. I would feel discouraged. So if you're gonna be constantly listening to what other people are saying, or even sometimes people don't even vocalize it, right? Sometimes we literally make things up in our heads and we play these scenarios and we assume that people are saying these things about us and then we let that discourage us. They might not have even expressed to you that they don't approve or they don't like what you're doing. And honestly, who cares? Why do you need approval to do something that you love? We should not need approval to do things that make us happy at the end of the day. This life belongs to you. So stop playing, stop sleeping on yourself, show the F up, show the F out, and live your best life, period. We also might have a fear of not being able to make money or not being able to make a livable income based on doing something that we really love. So if you're someone who is a creative, it can sometimes be a risk. You might not be able to work a nine to five job while pursuing your passion, or pursuing your dreams as a freaking international DJ, right? Or a backup dancer that travels with different artists. Feeling like you can't be financially stable, that's also a big roadblock when it comes to living in your purpose and wanting to pursue your dreams. And guess what? Do you think that half of these people, half of these artists, half of these millionaires, all these people, Jay-Z, Kanye, do you think that they would be at the place that they are if they were worried about working a freaking nine to five to be able to pay their bills? No, it's just a risk sometimes that you have to take. You have to bet on yourself. 
you have to bet on yourself because guess what sometimes nobody else is going to do it nobody else is going to take a chance on you if you do not believe in yourself if your confidence is not there if you don't truly believe in yourself you might as well give up you might as well give up because <laughs> if you're waiting for somebody else to show up to push you to do the work to show up for yourself it's not gonna happen and you might have that one person maybe two people in your life that are really gonna be like yo why are you not doing this why are you playing around what are you doing you're so talented right but for a lot of people that does not happen that does not happen so we got to do it for ourselves so i just want to motivate y'all to keep showing up for yourself and make sure you're surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded people who have that drive people who are not accepting no we're not accepting no as an answer we're gonna keep getting it we're gonna keep going for it period if this video resonated with you or you're feeling like it might resonate with someone else definitely share this video with a friend make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified whenever i upload a new video new videos every single week also make sure you check out my workouts and my dance videos Follow your girl on Instagram at wristfitkitty, and you can also follow my business page, Real Rhythm Dance Fitness. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.